Hi hey everybody, this is Thomas. I'm going to uh, do another story, and uh, this one is um, it might not be a good story, but uh, it's a story um, about uh, me and my son. And um, I wanted to put this out there um, because. Um, being a man, we uh, have to teach our our sons uh, about various things, and uh, that's a duty that we have as men. And um, <clears throat> I just uh, wanted to put this out here because I want to be a hundred percent about this, and um, I just wanted to maybe this might help somebody, but um, it's a parenting tip. Um, <clears throat> Last Sunday, there was a, a interesting. Well, last Monday, there was an interesting thing going on between uh, me. We are having uh, an issue, financial issue, without that. But that's not the point. The point is, is that um, my son, uh, he said that um, there was a, there were two stakes. I'm talking about two ounce steaks, not a big deal, um, in the house, and um, that someone had eaten them. Mind you, he didn't pay for them. Um, mind you, he he's in my house, and everything in the house, uh, either me or my wife paid for them. So in terms of ownership, he has none. But I'm going to continue the story. Um, the morning, uh, I on my on my low carb diet. Excuse me. And for some reason, um, there was no eggs in the house. Um, there was nothing really that I could eat to to satisfy me. Uh, we had a whole lot of cereal and a whole lot of pancakes, that kind of thing. So I can't eat that because that's not good for me. I'm not trying to gain weight. I'm trying to lose weight. So uh, I need to have uh, uh, foods that were be good for me. And this, there were two steaks in the house, and I was going to eat them. The reason why is because I was hungry, and I needed to eat because I need to do my job. I'm not going to walk through people's houses and be hungry and not be able to function because people's lives are, are in my hands and I need to have um, sustenance in order to get my job done. So uh, I ate the two steaks because I was hungry and I needed to get that done. Fast forward a few hours later on, my son came back home from uh, a school uh, which I pay for it's a private school very good private school and uh, he was upset that somebody ate his steaks uh, and I would told you the qualifying thing so he went on to have uh, an upset thing I understand who's that but um, hey there are other things that he can eat uh, that are much more beneficial to him than to me. And it's starting to rain. But I said to him, I ate your steaks. And uh, he went on to uh, get upset and to become angry about, uh, about the situation. That I had not the right to eat those steaks because they were his and that uh, I don't need meaning myself I don't need to eat that the serving size for him is one steak okay but my son I'm, I'm about uh, maybe two to me 242 I was three three at one time three almost 340 pounds now I've lost over 85 pounds now, so I'm, I'm less than that, but still, uh, I, I, my dietary needs are much more than, than his. So, he's going to tell me 
that, first of all, the steaks were his, and secondly, that I needed to only eat one steak because that's the serving size. Now, I was up, not, not upset, but I was telling him right so. I said, uh, I ate those steaks because I was hungry. And the second way is that I know that you eat that, but I can't eat that stuff in there. And he says, I can't eat that food either. I'm like, really? And so those, those cereal over there and all the other stuff in there, you're not eating that either? Yeah, but I don't want to eat that. I want to eat the steak. So my wife got into it, and, and she says, I shouldn't have eaten one steak. And I understand what she said, but I'm not going there, okay, because that's going to be another issue. So I said, okay. So I had to retreat. I didn't apologize, but I just retreated because I didn't want to set this whole thing up. We're, we're going to be arguing, yelling and screaming. So <clears throat> over the night, I did some, some soul searching and thinking, and I thought about what would God do? And that's exactly what and what was going on with me. And so I came up with this, kind of with this, um, and I replayed the whole situation in my mind. And I said, um, in this house, we're in the same house that I was, when I was a kid. So, I, and I can relate to where he's at when he was sixteen, and um, and I've had occasions to you know to be upset with my father, um, but not to that degree. And then, knowing him, knowing his situation, and knowing myself in that situation, so I can relate to me talking to my father as though talking, as my son was talking to me, is I'm talking to my father. And, not, and knowing what my father would say to me, um, he doesn't know him, but I know him. I know my son, and I know my father. So, I can see both sides of the coin and that was my logic so and I came up with this I said and we, we, had, we didn't finish the second part of the conversation but I said to this I said son um, well we talked about yesterday and I want to talk about this and I said that um, living in this house all the years and, and being 16 years old uh, in this house and I can equate to what you just said and what you said and I'm not belittling that, but um, but knowing my father, uh, which you don't know, but I know, and knowing the years that knowing something he knows now, that I know now, that 16 year old me would not know, but now that I know, so I have I see both sides of the story, and what I want to tell you is that the things that you said yesterday to me, if I would have said those same things to my father, my father would have said this. He said, look. In this house, there's nothing in this house that says that has your name on it. You don't pay any bills in the house. All the food in the house is either yours, is, is either you know, your father, your mother, or mine. There's, you don't pay any bills in this house. So, in terms of ownership, you don't have anything. Legally, you don't own anything until you're 18 years old. Legally, if anything happens, it's mine. <clears throat> there is nothing in this house that has your name on it. So by you telling me that those stakes were yours, they're not yours. They're mine because they're technically mine because everything in the house is mine. Now you could say that, but I'm giving that to you because it's my son. My son I can give you my largesse. Now I know that word now. <laughs> But I've given it to you in return for gratitude. Okay. So, um, but when you come to me and, and tell me that I need this, 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 and this, that's not going to work. When I pay the bills, when I keep the house going, and when I do those types of things that are respected to me, then I can detect or direct what I need to get done for my house and for my family. But I am not going to have you dictate the terms of my life because you're not my father. I'm your father. 
Now, biblically, as my son, I have a duty to you, which I do. I do discharge, and I'm responsible for educating you. I'm responsible for feeding you. I'm responsible for all those things. But biblically, you're not responsible for me. Not yet. So, I mean this with all respect to you, is that I understand, but as far as what's owed to you, you're not owed anything. Now, when you go out there and have a house and pay bills and you can have a house and you can dictate the terms of your house, then you can do such. If I'm a visitor or if I'm living in your house, then you can dictate terms. But in my house, you're not going to dictate terms. I'm going to dictate terms because it's my house. It's my property. It's not yours. Now, biblically, property is, is, is something that God gives us. It means ownership. And I'm giving you every right. I'm giving you the opportunity for you to go out and learn. But in the real world, you have to work for what's yours. I'm giving it to you, but in return, I know that I want to get something back. But in terms of pure ownership, that's mine. So, like I said, I'm giving it to you because you're my son and I have expectations and I have and have things to do. However, you do not dictate terms until you become 18 and then you become on your own and have your own house. And I think my son, I think, excuse me, uh, I think my, my dad did say something like to me or would say something like to my, to my sister in not so many terms. Now, he might have used a couple of expletives, I'm not sure. Uh, I can't remember, but um, but that's how the world works, and um, I have to educate my son about that. So, um, and like I like I said, sixteen-year-old uh, me would not have understand that, but fifty-plus me understands that now, and my 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 dad now, if he was living, he'd be one hundred and one years old. And I know at that time he was probably 55, 56 year old him <laughs> knew the same thing. But 16 year old me didn't understand that. But now having the wisdom and the knowledge of a 55 year old man and the knowledge and the wisdom of a 16 year old, I see both sides of where he's coming from. So I understand both sides. but. The, but the reality is that um, I have to let my son know that um, as far as the stakes are concerned, you know, it's not ownership until you have something, then it becomes yours. So anyway, so um, I hope that helps you guys. But, you know, I'm not, I'm, you know, but as, as men, we have to educate our sons. Um, and, and to, to the things that they that they really need to know how to and what and what they know and to let them know that how the world works. I got that from a rabbi, and um, it's helped me out. And the things that my father uh, didn't tell me that I understand now he should have told me, but he never conveyed that to me as sixteen year old Thomas as I'm doing with. 16 year old Thomas. <laughs> so it feeds on itself, but that's what I have. So, you know, this might be a purging tip, but I don't know. You know, I'm uh, I'm fallible. Uh, if you guys have any uh, other suggestions that, you know, that you might want to chime in on, you know, just let, let a brother know. Okay. You guys take care. Take care. Bye bye.